Okay, so we're going to continue. Add or subtracting from both sides and then multiplying or dividing both sides. We'll look at these four examples on page three. So please write down the first example, 64 minus 3a equals 4. 64 minus 3a equals 4. Okay. Okay, so let's start with this one. And what I'd like you to do is just look at it and tell me what the answer is. Can you figure out the answer in your head? 64 cents, take away three apples, leaves you with four cents. So what's the price of an apple? If you have 64 cents and you, you take away three apples, you're left with four cents. So what's the value of an apple, right? The value of an apple. Well, tell me this, what's 64 minus 3, 64 minus what gives 4 cents? 64 minus what gives 4? 64 minus 60, right? So 64 minus 60 is 4, right? So if 3 apples are 60, what's 1 apple? 3 apples are 60, 1 apple is? 20, right? So we should understand that the answer is the cost of an apple is 20. So we need to get A equals 20 at the end here, right? And um, I just wanted to, once again, just wanted to give you a nice uh, example like that so that when we come to the funny negative number ones, then we understand what's going on and why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, so what we've got to think about is how am I going to get A all by itself? Because at the end of this thing, I want A equals something. So I want 1A, positive A, A equals something, or a positive 1A equals something. That, that's the idea. Okay. So to get A by itself, we think what's being done to it? Well, it's been multiplied by a 3. Well, it's actually not a 3, it's a negative 3. Okay. It's actually being multiplied by a negative 3, and then 64 is actually being added on. What I would really like you to do is change that subtraction, time, su subtraction sign to plus negative. Do this, plus negative. And now it looks a little more obvious that A has not been multiplied by 3. It's not. It's been multiplied by negative 3. And then 64 is being added on. Now when you do the plus negative thing, Ah, I hope now it makes sense that we've got to subtract 64 and then divide by negative 3. Okay, so We've got to subtract 64 from both sides and then divide by negative 3. Okay, So go ahead and subtract 64 from both sides. 64 minus 64 is 0 and you're left with a negative, not a positive 3a, but a negative 3a equals What's 4 minus 64? That's 4 positives and 64 negatives. 4 good guys, 64 bad guys, what's left over? Negative 60. Okay. Now, A has been multiplied by a negative 3. How do you get A by itself? You've got to divide by the exact same coefficient, the negative 3, on both sides. Okay, divide by negative 3 on both sides. <laughs> on the left, negative over negative makes positive. 3 over 3 makes 1. And we still have the A left over. So positive 1A or A equals. <laughs> on the right, negative 60 over negative 3. That's a negative over negative, which is positive. And what's 60 over 3? 60 over 3 is 20. So we did indeed say the apple is worth 20 cents, like we thought at the beginning. Because look, it's 64 minus 60 gives 4, right? So the 3a makes 60. And so the apple has to be 20 cents, right? Okay, please write this one down. 58 minus 5b equals 8. 58 minus 5b equals 8. So 58 cents, take away 5 bananas, leaves you with 8 cents. Tell me what's the price of a banana? <laughs> 
the price of a banana is well tell me this 58 minus what gives 8 58 subtract what gives 8 58 minus 50 right 58 minus 50 is 8 so what's the price of a banana then so five bananas must cost 50 cents right so it's 58 minus 50 cents is 8. 50 cents minus 5 bananas. Well, if 5 bananas cost 50 cents, 1 banana costs how much? 5 bananas cost 50 cents, 1 banana must cost 10 cents. So at the end of this equation, we need to be left with B equals 10. Okay? So it has to end up being, well, that's obvious, right? I hope. Hope that makes sense. Anyway. And once again, doing these nice, simple apple and banana examples should hopefully make you more comfortable with the the ones with the x's and y's that don't seem to make much sense at all. Okay, so the trick with this is like you know you can subtract. Most students will think, okay, I'll subtract 58 from both sides. Fair enough. But sometimes they'll then say, now I have 5b equals something, but that is not a 5b. What is it? That is a negative 5b, okay? So you got to remember to keep that negative down here. And a really cool way of doing it is when you see that subtract, do this. Plus negative, see that? I just want to make it obvious to you that we have negative 5 times b. Negative 5 times b. And then 58 is being added on. So to undo adding the 58, we subtract 58 for on both sides. Okay. Now 58 minus 58 is and what do we get? So by all means continue from here and get the get the answer. Okay, so on the left hand side did you get negative five B? What did you get on the right? Eight minus fifty eight, eight positives, fifty eight negatives, negative fifty. Okay. B has been multiplied by negative 5. How are you going to undo multiplying by negative 5? Go ahead and, and get the answer. So you're going to divide by negative 5 on the left and divide by negative 5 on the right. Okay. What does that give you now? Negative over negative, positive. 5 over 5, 1. And we still have a B. Positive 1B or just B equals negative over negative positive 50 over 5 10 so b equals 10 and that's what we decided it should have been remember now let's do a couple of examples that don't make so much sense negative 10 minus x equals negative 3 write it down negative 10 minus x equals negative 3 okay so the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the negative 10 okay and then we'll just have the x term by itself so how would you, how would you get rid of negative 10 see to get rid of negative 10 you actually have to add 10 to both sides okay and that doesn't leave us with x we don't get x here what do we get on the left and you don't get x on the left. What do you get on the left? On the left hand side you get see negative 10 plus 10 is 0 so on the left hand side you get negative x because this negative has to come down just like the negative 3 came down here the negative 5b came down here negative 5b negative x must come down negative x. See that? Now negative x equals what? Negative 3 plus 10. 3 bad guys, 10 good guys. What does that make? <laughs> Positive 7. 7 good guys. How do you get x by itself? Are you done? Is that the answer? Are we all done now? No, because we want positive x equals something, not negative x. The answer has to say positive x equals something. Okay. So x is negative right now. To get positive x, what do we do? So this is a negative 1x, remember that? And we need to divide by negative 1 on both sides. 
And so on the left hand side, negative over negative is positive, 1 over 1 is 1, so we do indeed have a positive 1x on the left. On the right hand side, it's positive over negative, which is negative, and 7 over 1 is 7. So x equals negative 7 is the answer. And if we check that, it should all work out. If I check that, I would have negative 10 minus x equals negative 3 and the answer came out to be negative 7 so I'm going to plug that in for x so negative 10 minus negative 7 we have a double negative there what can we do with negative negative plus plus negative 10 plus positive 7 is what negative 10 plus positive 7 is indeed negative 3. So if negative 3 on both sides, that's the correct answer. Okay, Negative 7 worked out. Write this one down, do it all yourself. 4 minus y equals 3. 4 minus y equals 3, write it down, press pause, do the example yourself. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it, I'm going to do it now. The first thing we do is subtract 4 from both sides. By the way, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. Please press pause and try it. And if you make a mistake, that's a good thing because then you can watch the video and and correct. So 4 minus 4 is 0 and we're left with not y. We're not left with y. We're left with negative y on both sides, on, on the left. Okay. 3 minus 4, 3 positives, 4 negatives, leaves me with 1 negative. I'll have negative y equals negative 1. What do I do now? Did you get this far? What do we do now? Negative y is not good enough. I need positive y equals something. Okay. So the answer is not negative 1. Negative y is the same thing as negative 1y, so y has been multiplied by negative 1. To undo that, I've got to divide by negative 1. If I do that, I must also divide by negative 1 on the other side. And that will indeed leave me with, look, negative over negative, positive, 1 over 1 is 1, that's a positive 1y, or a y. And what's, what's the right-hand side become? It's negative 1 divided by negative 1. Negative over negative is positive, and 1 over 1 is 1. So y equals 1, and does that check out? If we check that, 4 minus y equals 3, we got y equals 1, 4 minus 1 I think does equal 3, don't you? So 4 minus 1, that's 3 equals 3, yep.